Lakeside Dental Clinic, Go Island, is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic. job. With that, the mural Circles of Belonging here at Bayview Elementary School is unveiled and today we're celebrating. Linking mountain bike trails in and around Nanaimo, skateboarders, bikers and more find a home in Chimenez and what are your family dynamics? Later on this edition of Go Island, we're going to find out how a mural on the side of a school is so much more than just a piece of art. But we're starting off in the trails today. The Nanaimo Mountain Bike Club is preparing a series of linking and connected mountain bike trails that are going to put Nanaimo on the map for mountain biking. Here's Derek Johnstone. Yvonne Vanderkoy is an artist, paintist, muralist, and she was the lead. You were the lead yep. on this project. Tell me, Circles of Belonging, what is the concept behind that? Uh, well, Circles of Belonging was the theme that we came up with for the mural um, as a way of exploring who we are and where we belong in the world and what our place is. And I thought it was, you know, really, um, I think, relevant theme for the children and for everyone to think about, you know, our small circles from ourselves and our families to, you know, the greater world and the universe. So we explored those different circles. We created images based on those ideas and thoughts and um, we just had, you know, um, a really extensive sort of process in image making and uh, using all kinds of mediums from um, acrylic and ink and printmaking and watercolor and charcoal and lots of drawing and ideas uh, coming out. So I met with the kids every week for about four months. It got a little bit emotional for you yeah. there at the end. Yeah. What was that all about? Well, it's, it's huge. It's um, it's a, uh, it's a lovely project. You're you're connected to these little lives in such a such a unique way. You get to you know, have fun with them, explore, be creative, ask them what they care about. Um, they get to be excited and proud and look forward to something that they can celebrate with their community. I think it's hugely community building. It's um, so relevant to, for, for anyone, I think, to find their place in their community and say, hey, look at what we did. We're, find their circle. We're celebrating. And their it's not circle. just one circle, it's circles, circles. that we belong yeah. to. What yeah. is depicted in the mural? What do we see? All sorts of stories are in the mural. Um, of course, we, I'll start perhaps with the smaller circles of the self-portraits. We did Rizzi-inspired self-portraits, and so we started with that. So all of these portraits are spilling out of the canoe and as you heard from Mandy the canoe is a very uh, iconic symbol of the coast and and it you know it's connected to our waterways it's connected to our history it's connected to travel and recreation so we felt that that was an important central um, sort of image for the mural and we just kind of went out from there we explored neighborhood themes we did printmaking around community and our, our homes and our parks we explored the natural world we did paintings of fish and of course the salmon story the the, um, the salmon baby that was stolen from the people of the north and, and so we had all of these great stories from Mandy that helped inform the mural as well and we we did um, art workshops based on those stories. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you so much. Lots of warm fuzzies here today at Bayview Elementary School for the unveiling of Circles of Belonging. It's much more than just a mural on the side of a school. It's about connecting, about sharing, about pride, about history, about belonging in your community. We're gonna be back with more after a short break. Still to come today, finally finding a home in Shemanis, celebrating 30 years with the Vesna Ukrainian dancers and exploring family dynamics. The celebrations continue here at Bayview Elementary School. The Shawl Dancers acknowledging the unveiling of the mural Circles of Belonging. We're going to head down to Shimanis now. Finally, the unwanted there have found their home. Skateboarders, bikers and uh, scooters. It's a new skateboard park in Shimanis. Here's Kevin Chirac.
From shawl dancing to Ukrainian dancing now, the Vesna Ukrainian dancers are celebrating 30 years. Here's Fiona Shedden. Diane McGonigal is the principal here at Bayview Elementary. What does this mural mean to the school here? Well, it's very important. We try to um, build a sense of belonging here in our school community, and I think working on this mural has helped to bridge that for us. We started a few years ago with an I can make a difference, and then we moved into family, and then we wanted to go out beyond family and talk about our circles with our neighborhood and our community. And just studies show that when kids have a sense of belonging, that they are better able to learn. And then the other layer of that belonging is that every kid in the school played a part in creating this? That's right. Every kid has touched that mural whether it be their ideas or their actual painting on there and it will be here a legacy for 10 15 years however long it lasts so even when they're young adults to be able to come by the school and remember that sense of belonging their part in that one of the things you mentioned when you were presenting uh, to the school was that the first time you applied for funding for this you were turned down so there was sort of a lesson in that I thought you don't give up the first time you just keep going tell me about your process no, it was very important for us to do this so when we applied for the grant were turned down they said you can call us and get some feedback so we did that and we resubmitted the grant the next time around and um, met all their criteria and were successful so we found out in August and what grant was that what foundation was that art starts okay excellent what's what's next I don't get the sense that you guys I are stopping don't. anytime soon <laughs> I don't know we had a couple of years ago we did a project with Yvonne and she very much feels like part of our community so we'll have to see what uh, I don't know what grants come available or what opportunities we'll certainly be looking. Well, thank you for bringing this to the neighborhood and, and contributing so much to the development of the kids. Right, Great school you. here at Bayview Elementary. We're going to head down to Victoria now. James Green is getting personal with people on the streets, talking to them about their individual family dynamics. Truck up the interstate, driving to a job. No, I hate, but I'm still there. That is Chad Brownlee. He's headlining along with Bobby Wills at When the Lights Go Down. It's a big country music concert taking place at Arbutus Meadows in Noose Bay on Saturday, April the 4th. And we have a couple of tickets to give away. This event was put on, is put on by the fine folks at Sunfest, gearing up for Sunfest in the Cowichan Valley this summer. All you need to do is email me with one of your favorite songs from either Chad Brownlee or a Bobby Wills. You can email me kate.bergen at sjrb.ca and we'll enter you into a random draw for a pair of tickets to see the show. Thanks for watching Go Island. We'll see you next time. Go back sometimes to the weekend that we spent in Panama City. Yeah, we got rain down walking down the beach over there. You still look pretty. But here we are flying through the moments living our crazy Lakeside Dental Clinic Go Island is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic, a division of the Vancouver Island Implant Center, delivering dental services, including dental implants and sedation dentistry, all under one roof. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions, Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Maffeo Salon.